Hey folks, uh, this lesson is Simplifying Radicals. This uh, lesson is not in our textbook, but it will help us with this uh, module. This is module 3.1, so uh, don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathblog.com. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started. So steps to simplifying square roots. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get that um, uh, factors, uh, prime factorization of the number that's inside the radical. It's called the radicand. Okay, and then the next thing we do is we need to have the two of the same numbers on the inside to bring one of them on the outside. Okay, square roots means uh, there's a little index number of two. So and then uh, then we multi after we do that then we multiply the outside numbers together and the inside numbers together if there are any. So anyway, so get the prime factorization and then two on the inside brings one on the outside and then multiply all the outside numbers together and all the inside numbers together if there's any left and most of the time there is. So here here's a simple one. So uh, simplify each square root. So here's our steps right here. So let's get the prime factorization of 20, okay? And then I like to circle the prime numbers, okay? 20 is 4 times 5. Now you can do 2 times 10 if you want. doesn't matter. Um, everybody gets the same prime factorization at the end, okay? And then this breaks down to 2 times 2, so I'll circle those because those are both prime. So we'll replace 20 with 2 times 2 times 5. And then, okay, so we got the prime factorization. Now we need to uh, two numbers on the inside. So these two matching 2s will come out as 1, 2 on the outside right there so that's our answer okay we don't have to multiply anything because there's only one number on the outside and that left over five on the inside okay do you remember do you remember doing that all right let's try that with this one so 54 now you can do several ways to break down 54 probably the most common is uh, 6 times 9 okay and neither of those are prime so let's uh, break those down 6 is 2 times 3 9 is 3 times 3 so here's 54 in prime factorization so let's put those in the radical and then um, uh, two threes on the inside will bring one three on the outside and notice we multiplied this left over two times three so that gave us root six so three root six Okay, all right, let's uh, make it a little bit more challenging. Uh, 96, okay, so 12 root 96, we gotta get the prime factorization of 96. So whatever path you take, you'll get the same root. If you don't know what, uh, what times what equals 96, well, go with what you do know. It's an even number, and two goes into that, okay? So two times 48, and, and I'm gonna keep going with um, uh, twos until I can't do twos anymore. That way they're in order. So 48 is two times 24, 24 is two times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. Okay, so let's put all those circled numbers inside of there. There's 96. Okay, so and then 2 on the inside brings 1 on the outside. So these two red 2's brought this red 2 out. These two black 2's brought this black 2 out. And I'm left with 2 times 3. So now we multiply all these outside numbers together. And this is going to be 6 inside, root 6. So 2 times, uh, I'm sorry, 12 times 2 is is 24 and then 24 times 2 is 48 okay so 48 root 6 all right let's step it up here so um, uh, 7 root 81 well 81 is just 9 times 9 and you don't need to break those down because there's two numbers on the inside that brings one of them on the outside so 7 times 9 is 63 no more radical okay 7 root 42 all right 42 is 6 times 7, and then 2 times 3, and then look, nothing matches up. So that was our answer right there, 7 root 42. Okay, so sometimes it's already simplified. All right, here's a big one right here. <clears throat> okay, I know um, uh, 5 goes into it. I know 10 goes into it. I'm going to do that, uh, start with the smallest. I'm gonna, uh, 2 goes into that, okay? 2 goes into that uh, 12. Uh, 75 all right and again I know five's hiding in there because that it ends in a five right there do you guys know the the rule for three if you add up the digits one plus two is three three plus seven is ten ten plus five is fifteen since three goes into fifteen three will go into that so three goes into that four times into that twice with one left over to give us fifteen and then goes into fifteen five times so 425 okay and now I gotta do the 5 because 3 doesn't do that anymore because 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 plus 5 is 11 so let's do the 5 so 5 goes into 42 8 times with 2 left over so we get 5 so 85 and then that's 5 times 17 so 
here we go. Don't forget the 11 on the outside. And then the only thing that comes out are those two fives. And then multiply these together. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this, you guys. I know 3 times 17 is uh, 51, so double that. That's 102. Or, or if you don't know what 3 times 17 is, maybe you know what 3 times 16 is, which is 48. So add another 3 to get us 51 for the 3 times 17 and then double that. Anyways, so 55 root 102 right there, okay? Okay, so uh, our assignment, you guys, is going to be a worksheet, and I do have that for you right here if you are in our class. So there's uh, two pages, two sides. This is the top half of the first side, okay? And then you can pause it, and then here's the bottom half of the first side. Of course, you can pause that, you guys, and then, and then here's the top half of the second side. Make sure you pause it, and then lastly... Uh, the bottom half of the second side. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.